Hi guys, Debbie here. Today we're going to be trying out a new indie brand on my channel. Not new to the market, but new to me, and it's the Collective Cosmetics. I've got their Phobos and Deimos palette here. So I'm going to be showing you all the shades inside, and we're going to be creating my first eye look with this palette. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so a little bit about the palette before we get into the eye look. So this is the, the gorgeous packaging on the outside, super, super pretty. And then you've got a mirror inside the palette and then that's the gorgeous shades inside. So you've got eyeshadows on the top rows, the 10 eyeshadows, mix of matte and shimmers, and then you've got some shimmery topper shades or you could use these as highlight. And that's what attracted it, me to it actually because I love a highlight that's kind of sparkly but also with some colour to it. So these two are particularly speaking to me but I just thought it looks a very versatile palette. And it's called Phobos and Deimos or the Moon Twin eyeshadow palette. So what's Phobos and Deimos then? Well they're the twin moons that orbit Mars. So I love the theme of it, the kind of galaxy theme and that's what attracted me as well. And also that these are handmade one at a time. It says handmade one at a time for makeup lovers by makeup artists and they're vegan and cruelty free and mineral and palm oil free individually crafted cosmetics now i do buy some private labeled makeup from indie brands but when i can find products that are made individual one by one unique items that always gets me excited so as i say that's why i wanted to try the brand now we had a few issues though so i picked this one up on black friday in the sale and they've got a, a UK arm and a US arm, so it was shipped from the UK as well as I know. But I'd waited about three weeks, hadn't heard anything, no shipping notification. I'm pretty patient anyway, because I wasn't sure where it was coming from. I thought they were completely US based. But eventually reached out to the brand and they said, you shouldn't be waiting this long, we'll get you another one. And then when the next one arrived, I'll insert a picture of what it looked like. So I don't want to hold it up because it's just going to go everywhere. But every single shade is shattered in that one that I received as a replacement. So I was super sad about that. We got to about early January by this point. And so reached out to the brand again and told them and they said, we'll arrange to get another one to you. And it did take about another two weeks from them for me to get the next one and I just have to chase it up again but I did feel bad because they put a lovely note in there to say that they were sorry about what happened and I do know that they have to as I say create them one by one and they're handmade so I bought it at sale price and I feel like they probably made nothing whatsoever by the time they've shipped it three times so I did feel a little bit guilty keep asking for a new one but it's my money and I wanted it at the end of the day so so that being said I have had this palette for about three weeks, so I just haven't gotten around to filming with it. So today what we're going to do, we're going to use the highlights, as I say, probably one or, or I think that one actually. And I'm going to create an eye look, probably using some blue shades. I'm not entirely sure what. Maybe the blues and the greens today. But I haven't decided what. We're just going to kind of dip into the shades as we go and see what I create, to be honest, today. It's just all about trying out the, the formula. Now the only thing I would say is I've swatched these already, they swatch very dry and not very pigmented so I'm going to make sure I leave my eyeshadow base tacky so there's plenty for them to grip onto. Just going to go in with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot because that's what I do and as I haven't decided what I'm going to create I'm just going to liberally apply eyeshadow primer everywhere. Sometimes I don't prime my lids because I know I'm going to be putting glitter glue there but I really haven't decided what I'm going to do today so I'm just going to do a thin layer of primer just to get rid of my redness. I think I'm gonna go in first of all with the shade Fear and start building up some intensity in my outer corner and bring that through my crease a little bit. Now you see that's going on way more pigmented than the swatches. Got a bit of fallout there but this is going on way more pigmented than, than touching these shadows suggested so as I say, swatches mean nothing really because they generally give you the idea of what the colour's going to be but you can't tell how a shadow is going to perform on the eyes until you put it on your eyes, can you? So that's pretty pigmented for my money and a beautiful shade of blue. See, I'm really trying guys with the blue eyeshadow this year. I've never done so many blue eyeshadow looks. Quite a lot of blue fallout under my eyes but I'm going to be 
using the blue highlighter hopefully we can fix it with that I'm just going to start bringing that blue through the crease a little bit just to give us some depth kind of wishing that I did my eyeshadow first but I didn't so I think what I'll have to do is take off the concealer there to get rid of that fallout but that's okay I think that's really looking pretty it's blending really nicely as I say there's just quite a bit of fallout I'm tapping my brush off but I'm still getting fallout but the tone of that blue is really really pretty on the front part of my crease here I'm going to go in with Battle Queen this shade here I'm just going to bring that as I say right into the front part of my crease these are really surprising me as I say when I touched these shadows and tried to swatch them I was literally getting no pigment whatsoever and yet on the eyes they're performing really really well I think if you're gonna use this palette you'll want to leave your eyeshadow base tacky you don't set it so that it gives the shadow something to grip onto as I say but other than that I think that's looking really really pretty and they're blending really nicely I'm gonna take that into about the centre of my crease and blend it with that blue that we've got there already I love a blue and green look together I'm trying to find the way to like make blue my friend as I say the main thing with blue that I don't like is when you get fallout you can't do a lot about it but I think because we're going to be putting a blue shimmery highlight on it will kind of blend it with that and we'll be fine. I want to use the shade Spectra just to add a bit more interest above here now and blend out both shades with that. I'm almost doing a technique I'd do if it was a sunset eye but on a green and blue eye. Just using a Morphe E36 because I don't want this this yellow shade to go everywhere but I do love a mustardy yellow accent in a look I just think it always looks super pretty so far I've only used mattes there's four true mattes in the palette I will have used three of them now and I think really impressed with the matte formula it reminds me a little bit of the LA Splash classic horror like the the colour selection and the way that they blend as well. Just taking my time just to get that gradient between the yellow and the blue. Now I'm just going to take a bit more of the yellow and just really blow things out now up to my brow. So I'm using a much bigger blending brush now I've got that colour down. Okay, really liking how that's looking so far. I want to use a satin shade next, this shade Flight, to kind of merge things a little bit in the outer corner before we start going in with the shimmer shades. I love a teal shade like this Flight shade, so... And I love a satin shade, so unpopular opinion, I think, So I hear a lot of people saying they don't like satin shades, but I always think they're pretty easy to blend, and they give you that nice transition between a a matte shade and a shimmer shades. See how that's just blended over that and gotten rid of that harsh edge that we had there. Okay, in with the lid shades. I think I'm gonna go in with Luna, this shade here, and Celestial. Probably taking Celestial more towards the top and Luna towards the bottom, like on a diagonal. And I'm gonna go in with NYX Glitter Primer just to give you something to adhere to. They do look very sparkly, so I think there will be quite a lot of fallout if I don't, but I always like to use glitter glue anyway I'm taking that right into the socket of my eye so leaning back so I can really get into that I'm only putting it on the front part of my eyelid and my crease so I'm going to take the celestial shade the blue and as I say that's going in the top part there kind of tracing a line almost as if I've got a cut crease there just in that area that is super sparkly and pretty 
These shades have got a lot of glitz and dimension to them without being press glitters. They're all I say if they're not not got any large particles of glitter in there, but they're super dimensional and sparkly. Really, really pretty. My kind of shadows. And for the lid, we're going in with the green, so the lunar shade. So I've sort of got it on a diagonal with that blue. My lower lash line, I was tempted to do just what I've done on the upper lids, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to take the shade Orbit, the brown here, and then blend that out with the mustard shade, which is called Spectra. This Orbit shade's one of those kind of matte with sparkles, like the sequin shades, but it's going to perform pretty much like a matte because I'm stamping it on there. I think that's just helped for me to make the look a bit more wearable because it's not quite so blue and green. So now I'm going to take Spectra the yellow to blend that out and that will help give us a bit of cohesion with the upper lid. I love this Spectra shade, this kind of murky mustard yellow, all about this kind of shade, I love it. I know that Collective Cosmetics has a monthly subscription service, I don't think I'd be doing that, but I have seen that they've got some single highlights, they look super super pretty, so if you didn't want to go for a palette there are other options, I don't know if you can buy them just on their own or just through the subscription. I'm not entirely sure, but I should have done a bit more research about the brand, but as I say, this palette was the one that was calling my name just because of the super sparkly shades in it. I love how this is coming out, actually. My inner corner and just the like little bit there, I'm gonna go in with the shade Sundial, so this one here. And that's very glittery, but as I say, it's not pressed glitter. Just giving us a hint of gold glitter in the inner corner, which is really pretty. Okay, for highlight, we're going to be brave and use the dazzling shade. I just really want to see what this blue highlight will look like on my cheeks. So, I think any of them apart from the pink would have gone okay with this look. It's going to be ultra glittery though. It's straight out and out glitter, actually. I wonder if I spray it, how that would be. I'm just going to try doing that. Just sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus. Ooh. That changes it up completely. Wow. <laughs> it's going to take a while to uh, blend that in now. I don't know if that was a good thing to do. I love how it changes it up. It makes it almost like a creamy highlight if you dampen it like that. Just really taking some time to, to melt that into the skin. That's super intense, isn't it? It's too much, I think. This side looks okay. <laughs> this side is too much. That's better, but that's a see it from space highlight for sure. Okay, so this is the look to this point. I think that highlight's a little bit too intense even for me. But if you didn't spray it, it's very glittery and it just falls off your face. If you do spray it, it's a little bit too intense, I think. But I'm going to put something in my waterline, do my mascara and a lip, and I'll be back with you to show you the finished look. Okay, guys, here's the finished look. So in my waterline, I've gone in with a NYX pencil. This is Azure. And then on my upper lids, I've done a little wing using the Navy liquid liner from number seven. And then lips today are Mota from Melt. Do love this lipstick, don't bust it out very often, but it's got that blue greenness about it and it's got a bit of a sparkle in it too, so I thought it complemented the look well. So my thoughts then on today's look, I love how the eyeshadows turned out, not so keen on the highlight that I've used today anyway. I think it's too icy. When I look straight forward, I've got that grey cast, which isn't too flattering. If I was doing some sort of character look for Halloween, it might be okay, but it, it's not flattering to actually wear, I don't think. The problem I had with that 
is it was super glittery and it was just falling off my face which I don't mind a glittery highlight but it wasn't adhering to my skin so I sprayed it thinking that might help and then it just became one big streak of highlight that I couldn't blend out so whether I apply with the fingers might be better I might try that next time but I can normally make things work and I struggled with that but love the eyeshadows that I tried particularly that shade Spectre I think that's gorgeous it's gone really nice with the brown on my lower lash line and with the greens and that's what I like about this palette it's got that grunginess about it but there's a lot you can do with it I mean I was very tempted to stick in this sort of area because this is my kind of natural home but I do love that you can take it sort of sea green kind of plankton-y kind of looking I don't know like seaweed kind of vibes but that you could do a fairly neutral eye with just one of these toppers on the lid and the the brown kind of as a halo maybe you've got a nice pinky transition there and the two standout shimmers I think for actual eyeshadow shimmers are these two so that's what I use today Luna and Celestial and they've got that fine glitter in that make them really dimensional and glitzy without them being uh, a pressed glitter or anything like that and then there is a satin shade in there that flight shade that went on really creamy really nice so you know when I first as I say touch these eyeshadows I could barely get any pigment on my fingers but with a brush they just work like magic so uh, it just goes to show that finger swatches don't really tell the story and it's how they apply over an eyeshadow primer on your eyes which is where you're going to wear them so yeah I've got mixed feelings at the moment I can't really give you my fully rounded thoughts because I need to use more of these I need to use them as eyeshadow toppers I think need to perhaps try applying with my fingers and see if the warmth of my fingers will melt the formula into my skin as I say applying it with quite a dense brush like the Kaleidos H1 highlighter brush normally blends them into the skin but it was just falling off in little flakes so maybe it's just this blue one these two look different formulas to these two these look a lot more flaky and I've not got much experience with using that flaky sort of formula even for eyeshadows so I must admit I did struggle a bit there but really quite impressed particularly with the mattes and those two two shimmers that I've used today these two so yeah that's my thoughts so far You'll have to let me know guys if you tried this brand are you part of the subscription service that they do what are their standard highlighters like because I know they have some single highlighters with really nice pressings in them that look super beautiful I mean it's see it from space isn't it it's alien highlight it's just even for somebody that doesn't mind taking it to the next level in terms of like you know color combos and you know I'm not afraid of, of being bold with my makeup even for me I think that highlight's just a little bit too greyish toned for for me and my skin tone so I can't see it working on too many people <laughs> but that's my thoughts anyway so as I say let me know what you think and that brings us to the end of the video so thank you for watching if you're new to my channel and you've not yet subscribed I'd love to have you other than that guys hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys